This is the Gestalt principles for our Unit 4 discussion. First, we have proximity. So proximity uses elements that are closer together so that they appear to be in the same group. So in this picture, we have many different objects like hearts, stars, and paws. And the way that they are placed together makes it appear to be in a dog shape. So I thought this was a really good example of proximity. But these are a few extra examples. Such in the middle here, we have different sized squares placed together to form a giraffe. And this last one, food mobile here, is just a car that is made up of a whole bunch of different types of foods like fish, apples, bread, so on. Next, we have similarity. So similarity relates to objects that have visual characteristics to be in the same group or pattern. So in this picture, we have many different sized triangles and the way that they're placed gives you the Statue of Liberty image. I also chose this picture because the another visual characteristic is the coloring. So they do have two different colors so you can separate these two Statues of Liberty. So I thought that was pretty cool. And these are a few more examples. Next we have continuation. So this is having the viewer's eye follow the design using line work. And I decided to use the Harlingen logo. So here you can see the curved line going through the H that's bringing your eyes downward, reading City of Harlingen, Texas. Here are a few more examples. And lastly, we have closure. So closure uses the mind to fill in the gaps on open space to complete the picture. So in this picture, you can see the blobs of black, but the way that they are formed is giving you the Dalmatian image, which is a really nice picture, if you ask me. These are a few more examples, like this soccer ball on the bottom left. You can see that the way the hexagons are curved on the outside make it form a circle shape. Really cool. And that is all that I have. Please let me know what you guys think.